Brandon, let's um, start things off by, by kind of talking about this year and um, a couple of games in to the Youth Alliance League season. I know you were training with the first team in pre-season as well. So how how's the first couple of months of the new campaign been for you? Yeah, obviously it's been good. We um, started training with the first team in pre-season, which was tough, but you know it's got to be done at the end of the day. And then obviously leading into the season, I think we were, we were a bit disappointed with the first game. Obviously we went away to Bristol and probably should have got more out of the game than we did but I felt on uh, last weekend even though we went a goal behind we showed good good resilience to get back into the game and arguably should have got the three points in the end. Yeah looking at sort of reports from that game in particular and it might be a, a common theme this season knowing how the academy and everything is run and the way that Darren likes to do things but ended the game really strongly if anyone was going to win it, it was going to be you guys is that something that's kind of been spoken about that never say die, keep going right to the end of the game? Yeah, I mean, we, as a team, under 18s, we pride ourselves on being fit, you know, so no one runs harder than us. And I think that's going to come as well. I don't think we're quite there yet. I think that will come as we keep playing more games. But no, no one will work harder than us and we'll always, we'll, we'll go and never say that attitude. So that's us. Let's talk a little bit about your Argyle journey then. So take us back to when it all started, when you first kind of pulled on the, the Argyle tracksuit. I think I was, I was eight when I first joined the academy and then I signed when I was nine. So I've been here a long time, seen a lot of faces and seen the club at its lowest. And now I think where I am now is probably the highest point the club's been at for a long time. So it's nice to be a part of it. I suppose for most of your life really you've been part of Plymouth Argyle haven't you? Yeah of course yeah I mean as I said I owe a lot to it to my parents I thank them every day because without them I wouldn't be here they used to drive me well I'm from Cornwall so they used to drive me an hour hour plus three times a week so yeah I owe a lot to them and hopefully I'll be able to repay them one day. Was was Argyle a club that you came to watch at all when you when you were a youngster? Every week, every week, my dad, me and my dad always used to come and yeah, it's just a dream to be on that pitch one day, hopefully. Well, what, going, going back to, to when you did used to come, what were, what, what were the kind of the players that, that you looked at and, and maybe saw, not necessarily at Argyle, it could have been, you know, growing up and watching Match of the Day or something like that, that you looked up to and thought, I'd, I'd quite like to be like them. I think, first of all, a big one at Argyle was probably, probably Sonny Bradley. I remember when he was there, he was pretty much the real deal we had everything so as a centre-back I looked up to him a lot but now in the team now obviously you know McCauley and Brendan you know they're my position and even all the other centre-backs as well because I think I can learn a lot because they all you know present different things different strengths so whenever I'm in training I just used to, just need to look at them and yeah learn a lot from them really. You mentioned you're a left-sided um, central defender the way that the gaffer Ryan Lowe likes to play and, and all the, the age groups going down is that three at the back. Um, how important is it to be able to shift between those three positions along the back line, do you feel? Yeah, really important. Obviously, I feel I can play in the middle if needed as well and I could even do a job on the right, but obviously my main position is the left. But obviously, if I'm needed in any of the other two positions, then I'll happily step in. Let's talk about last year. Um, made your first team debut EFL trophy game I think it was was it here against Norwich yeah, yeah, under yeah, 21 yeah. having to come on for, yeah, yeah. For, a, for an Argyle legend as yeah, well yeah, in, yeah. in Gary Sawyer talk to us about that yeah obviously I was I was on the bench one I was always in the back of my mind obviously thinking that I could get on but obviously when I seen Gaz go down I was thinking right here's my chance here but then it, what actually happened was Scott Wooten who was at the club got called in got called back so I was like oh, not me then but then obviously I got called back and you know, to come on for someone like Gaz. I mean, I've, and he's another player I've looked at because he's he's probably been at Argyle, I don't know how long, but I was watching him when I was, you know, eight, nine, so it was nice to come on for him, yeah. What, what was it like as well when you were still on the, on the touchline thinking, right, this is it, this is the first team debut? What was going through your head? To be fair, I just, I just wanted to get on the pitch, to be honest. I wasn't, I wasn't really, you know, nervous or anything like that. I just wanted to get on the pitch, you know, because I know it's a big moment. You know, my mum and dad are watch, obviously watching on the telly at home. So, but yeah, it was just a big moment for me and yeah, I'm so glad it happened, to be honest. You've been training with the first team. You've been in and, in and amongst it, a couple of match day squads as well. What would it mean to you um, to wear the Argyle shirt, to wear that green shirt on the pitch just behind us here 
in a league game in front of supporters, what would that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, even just the supporters being back now and, you know, we obviously watch the game over there and it just gives you that extra bit of hunger in your belly, you know. I'm watching the game and, you know, you've got all the boys, all the young boys on there like Finn, Reese, and when Reese comes on, all the raw, you know, I, that's what I want to get to. So I want to I want to be in, basically, be like that. So I, I've, I've asked this to a couple of players like Reese and, and Ollie and Finn and, and obviously Luke as well, you know, there is that pathway now, isn't there? There's there's something there to strive for, which I imagine for, for you guys playing mm. in the under-18s, it's, it's kind of like a real target, mm. knowing that you'll, you'll get that opportunity. Yeah. I mean, it's good to see a clear pathway. I mean, you can see it with, you know, Jeff Cart, Rands, all of them coming through. I mean, at the end of the day, since the gaffer's come in, he has showed that, you know, age don't really matter. And if you're, if you're good enough, you're old enough, basically. So it's good to have that backing from the gaffer and... Yeah, long may it continue. Brilliant stuff, Brandon. Lovely to chat to you and see you out on the home park pitch quite soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.